Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install the nearest postal script into your guys' 5M server totally for free and in 2023. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below. I'll bring you guys right here to the GitHub. Now a necessity for this is making sure you guys obviously have a postal map in order for your nearest postal to actually correspond with your map. So if you haven't already done that, link the info card in the top right hand corner now. And that'll take you to my second most recent video and i show you guys how to install the postal map but the, once you guys have done that the first thing you guys want to do is click source code right here download it open it on up if you go inside the nearest postal folder, you should be able to see there are a bunch of your standard plugins for a 5m server to install this what you guys are going to want to do is open up your file explorer Navigate to whatever drive your server is installed on. Now, if you install it the same way as me, it's going to be on your C drive. Then go to FX server, EX data, VFX default, and resources. And now you can put it in maps if you want, if you want it to correspond with your map. If we don't want to, you can just put it in your resources folder. We're just going to put it on a resources folder because we don't really have anything that corresponds with our maps since our maps is just add on map stream files. So to install this, what you guys want to do is rename this, first of all, to just nearest postal like this. And then drag and drop it into your guys' resources folder. You can now close the download, open up the nearest postal, and the only thing you guys are going to need to change is open up the FX manifest. And if you guys have new postal, which you will if you watched my previous video on how to install a postal map, and you will not need to change it, it comes default as new postal. If you don't, and you have one of the other two, which it does say in the README, actually, if you open up the README that it comes with right here, it tells you what maps are compatible with it. If you have the OCRP version, then all you guys are going to want to do is put in OCRP Postal. And if you have the old one, then you should put it in with this line of code right here, Old Postal. I'm assuming most of you guys will have the new Pulsars one since it is the most downloaded and it is the one I did the previous video on. Once you guys have checked that, you can now either rename it or keep it the same. And that is all you guys need to do. From here, we can now go back to our resources, copy and paste the nearest postal into our server.cfg. Once you've copied the name, go back to CFX default, open up your server.cfg. And now we're going to put it under the map mod section to ensure and then control v nearest postal if you guys don't already have your server.cfg section down like i do i totally recommend doing it in order to do it all you guys need to do is kind of come up with a base category for all of your mods and then do two hashtags and then the category name two hashtags basically ensure that your server.cfg will not read it as a line of code so you can just kind of section out your server to make it more easy for admins and stuff like that if you guys were to have admins to manage it and it also just makes your life easier when it comes to finding mods to delete them etc once you guys have done that you can hit close as long as you guys have saved it everything should work so now you can go back to fx server and start it up and i'll hop in game and show you guys how to use it once you guys are in game you should be able to see now in the bottom left hand corner of your screen will be the nearest postal and if you open up the map as long as you, you chose the right map, it should correspond. So you guys see right here, 7350. And my nearest postal is 7350. And it actually tells you exactly how far you are away from it, which is really, really cool. And it is just a lot easier for when it comes to telling your friends where you are. And you can also just set waypoints using the slash nearest postal command in your guys' chat. Type in the nearest postal to them, and it will set a waypoint automatically to them. It's just a great script. And it just makes your life 10 times easier whenever you guys are running a 5M server. Now you may notice that it is kind of in an annoying place. You can move it, don't worry. If for some reason it defaults to being to the right hand corner of the screen, you can move it to above the map. You can also move it to wherever you want, basically. All you guys got to do to do that is basically tab out your game. And then from here, go back to your nearest postal script. Open up the config.lua. And you guys should be able to see within here is a position X and Y. And all you guys got to do is literally just change it to what you want. So you could put it to one and you could put this to 0 0.973 if you really wanted. You just got to keep messing around with it until you get it in the right position. 
and then save it and then you don't have to restart your server all you guys would have to do is open up your tx admin in your browser and from here just go to your resources and then find your map mod which should be somewhere here it is nearest postal and then just click restart and it will restart it you don't have to restart a game if you just open back up the 5m server you should be able to see that there you guys go it has moved down slightly and over to the left a bit more but you just got to keep messing around with it. it is a bit of a pain that is alive sometimes with 5m servers you kind of just got to deal with it hope you guys did find this video useful if you did please be sure to like comment and subscribe also check out my new 5pd 5m server down in the description below Join it right now and be there for release it'll be releasing in the next few weeks so be sure to check out that and other than that i'll see you guys in the next video cheers and goodbye